not with him, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But what about us? Interesting facts about famous people. World War II movies made during the war. I have taken your suggestions and made this follow-up video to the one I made about Hollywood World War II movies made during the war. This new list includes some more Hollywood movies and also some international offerings made during the war. If you like this video, hit that notification button and get my new videos as they come up. Take a look at my channel to see all my other videos. The link is in the description. Apologies for any mispronunciation of names. Action in the North Atlantic, 1943. Lieutenant Joe Rossi is first officer on a Liberty ship in a great convoy bound from Halifax to Murmansk. After German subs crush the convoy, his ship loses the convoy and heads alone to Murmansk. In spite of attacks by German planes and subs, he gets the ship to Murmansk. Corvette K-225 1943. In 1943, Mac McLean, Canadian Navy, lost his ship and many men to a German torpedo. While waiting for a new ship, he befriends Joyce Cartwright, sister of one of his head officers. We follow the building and launch of new Corvette K-225, the HMCS Donnacona. And who should be Mac's new subaltern but Joyce's older brother, Paul. Fresh out of the academy, Mac will do his best to make a good officer of Paul. If they both survive their hazardous sea duty. Captains of the Clouds, 1942. Brian McLean irritates fellow bush pilots Johnny Dutton, Tiny Murphy, Blimp Lebeck, and British expatriate Scrounger Harris by outcompeting them for business in rugged northern Ontario, Canada. In 1939, as the Second World War was beginning, Dutton, whose ambition is to start his own airline, flies by the book. But McLean, is a seat of the pants kind of pilot, mirroring the differences in their personalities. Wake Island, 1942. In November 1941, Major Caton took command of the small marine garrison on Wake Island. His tendency towards spit and polish upsets the men's tropical lassitude, but Pearl Harbor changes everything. Soon the island is attacked and the marines pull together day by day, but how long can they hold out? The Cross of Lorraine, 1943. With the onset of World War II, Frenchmen from all walks of life enlist in the army. The war is short-lived, however, as the Germans quickly defeat them and Marshal Pétain signs a peace agreement with the invaders. The troops surrender, but rather than being repatriated to their homes as expected, they all find themselves in a POW camp. The men find solace in the company of Father Sebastian, a priest who was also in the army. He counsels them wisely, and in the case of Paul, gives him strength to face the daily challenges of simple living. In Which We Serve, 1942. This is the story of a British naval ship, HMS Torren, from its construction to its sinking in the Mediterranean during action in World War II. The ship's first and only commanding officer is the experienced Captain E. V. Kinross, who trains his men not only to be loyal to him, but to the country and most importantly to themselves. They face challenges at sea and also at home. They lose some of their shipmates in action and some of their loved ones in the devastation that is the Blitz. Throughout it all, the men of the Torren serve heroically. The Way Ahead, 1944. A group of draftees are called up into the infantry during World War II. At first they appear to be a hopeless bunch, but their sergeant and lieutenant have faith in them and mould them into a good team. When they go into action in North Africa, they realise what it's all about. One of our aircraft is missing, 1942. During the Allied bombing offensive of World War II, the public was often informed that a raid took place last night. One or often more of our aircraft is missing. 
behind these somber words hid tales of death, destruction, and daring do. This is the story of one such bomber crew who were shot down, and the brave Dutch patriots who helped them home. Casablanca, 1942. The story of Rick Blaine, a cynical, world-weary expatriate who runs a nightclub in Casablanca, Morocco, during the early stages of World War II. Despite the pressure he constantly receives from the local authorities, Rick's cafe has become a kind of a haven for refugees seeking to obtain illicit letters that will help them escape to America. But when Ilsa, a former lover of Rick's and her husband, show up to his cafe one day, Rick faces a tough challenge, which will bring him unforeseen complications, heartbreak and ultimately an excruciating decision to make. I hope you like this video. If so, make sure you hit the notification button to see my new videos as they come up. Take a look at my channel to see all my other videos. The link is in the description. Also take a look at my Facebook page as well. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Bye for now. See you again soon. Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.